House Speaker Mike Johnson's remarks strategically highlight duty, patriotism, and loyalty to allies. In contrast, Kamala Harris's boycott of Netanyahu's speeches stands as a significant political statement that challenges these values. This action, given the social expectations for leadership, will inevitably prompt scrutiny regarding the authenticity and personal responsibility behind Harris's decision. Alone, it has never been more important than it is right now for us to stand with our closest ally in the Middle East and our traditional uh, partner in all these things. And it is outrageous to me and inexcusable that, as the leader mentioned, that Kamala Harris is boycotting this, um, this joint session. This is an historic moment. It's an important moment for the country for all the reasons we've said. The gravity of the situation cannot be overstated. And yet, Kamala Harris will abandon her seat. As you all know, as the vice president and as serving as the president of the Senate, she is supposed to be seated next to me at the rostrum. She will not be there because she refuses to attend. She needs to be held accountable for that. She needs to be asked very serious questions about why. They went down the roster to find out who else would sit in the seat. <clears throat> Senator Patty Murray declined the opportunity as well. She will also boycott the event, skip the speech. <clears throat> they, they landed on Senator Cardin, who is uh, retiring from the Senate, um, so has little political risk. The idea that they're making political calculations when our ally is in such dire straits, fighting for its very survival and, and, and fighting back against the uh, horrific attack in October is unconscionable to us. America's relationship with Israel has always been bipartisan, and it should stay that way. Um, with that, I'll uh, take a few. Mike Johnson's comments could signify a pivotal moment in U.S.-Israeli relations. The American public, who largely favor a robust alliance with Israel, may perceive Kamala Harris's boycott as both a critical and disrespectful political move. Her absence might be interpreted as a lack of support for a key ally and a failure to fulfill her vice presidential duties. The bipartisan frustration in U.S.-Israel relations underscores the perception of Harris's decision as partisan. Johnson's critique zeroes in on themes of individual responsibility and authenticity. Harris's boycott can be seen as a declaration of personal and political principles, yet it will be scrutinized to determine whether her actions stem from genuine beliefs or external political influences. This analysis will delve deeper, questioning whether Johnson's call for accountability aligns with the societal expectation that leaders should act consistently with their roles and responsibilities. Johnson's remarks are crafted to emphasize service and loyalty to allies, appealing to patriotism and responsibility by highlighting Harris's absence. These comments are likely to elicit strong emotional responses from those who revere U.S.-Israel relations, potentially amplifying the significance and controversy of Harris's boycott. Johnson portrays the event as historical and important, suggesting that Harris and other Democrats are seeking public support by framing their actions as neglectful of crucial international issues or politically motivated. The public's reaction to Johnson's statements is expected to be sharply divided along partisan lines. Johnson's supporters and advocates of strong U.S.-Israel relations may view Harris's boycott as a dereliction of duty and find Johnson's demand for accountability justifiable.